All right, all right, we're live for 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an stspod.club production. That's right, episode 751, episode 133 of Rolling Into Mempo. I want you to go to stspod.club and listen to all 751 episodes. The only place to listen to them in the right hand corner. You can join us on Patreon. That's right. I also, I have all my social media, social media. That's hard for me to say up there. And you can DM me. I have rolling into Mempo t-shirts for sale. That's right. We had a new episode of dynamite yeah we talked about all out this past week look there on stspod.club and check it out real quick note i mentioned this last week we will continue our tradition of releasing this at 1 p.m on saturdays after the youtube airing of the show All right, guys, if this is the first time you joined us, every week we do hits, misses, MVP, question of the week, what's happening, and must see. We're going to do some upcoming events, and then we're on with the show. We are Memphis Wrestling. Join us live starting this Saturday night, September 9th, at the Dyer County Fair. 6 p.m. meet and greet, 7 p.m. bell time. Don't miss the Memphis Wrestling Bicentennial Bash at the Dyer County Fair. Memphis Wrestling is free with paid fair admission. Sunday, September 17th, WWE alumni Fred Rosser and JTG are coming to Memphis Wrestling for our live TV taping. Friday and Saturday, September 22nd and 23rd, catch Impact Wrestling Live in Memphis at Graceland. Monday, September 25th, Memphis Wrestling is live at the Mid-South Fair featuring ECW and WWE legend Tommy Dreamer. Meet Tommy Dreamer and the stars of Memphis Wrestling at 6 p.m. Bell time is 7 p.m. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Hits, hits, hits. Oh, yeah. We're going to start out hits on week 133. Maria. I'm sorry, T-Bone. She's prettier than you. Yay, Maria's back. Uh, Started out with uh, Memphis Heritage title match, gun show against Johnny Polk. Uh, Love the way he's picking them up and and doing the finisher one more time. Man, that crowd was hot for the gun show. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, We had Coach come out showing how much money they had raised for St. Jude. Very, very good. I love the way they do this. Um, Then we had a video out in the parking lot, just in case in the Roberts family legacy. They're they're waiting on uh, Mike Anthony and Toomer to see what's going on. Uh, Then we had the LA Hustlers against Austin and Brandon Beretta. Uh, You see how I didn't pronounce Austin's last name. Uh, Barmas came out, did some commentary, and kind of cried a little bit, but the LA Hustlers didn't want him. That match didn't get uh, started very well uh, until we had the Roberts Family Legacy jump them and just clear the ring. Uh, then did a promo, you know, pretty much yelling, where are they? <clears throat> where are they? Where, Where is Kay Toomer and Mike Anthony? Uh, good stuff, good stuff. This segment up next was uh, MKZ was not there live, but they did all kinds of stuff where she went to WMC Channel 5 Studios. She was being interviewed with Dustin Starr there with the the host of one of the shows there. It was it was done so well, so well. I loved it. Um, and then we had some stuff uh, with M- MKZ. McKenzie winning the belt last week, and they're showing after – The TV went off with the friends and family getting in. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, Then we had uh, Gaston and Matt Williams and Nix. We had a little video of them. They promised, Matt Williams promised that they were going to win the tag belts. Uh, Then we had a really good match. Ray Ray and DK against Gaston and Matt Williams. And we for the Memphis tag team titles, we had Nix at the announcer's desk she was doing commentary um 
I, I really laugh. Gaston said that uh, that Ray Ray was a day past puberty. That that cracked me up. Uh, I brag about all the trainees, but sometimes you know I forget about Ray Ray. Not forget about him, but he just seems to have really settled in in this role as as DK's tag team partner. He's filling out. He's becoming a really really good worker. Uh, just this match really showcased him very, very good. Uh, DK took the heat again. Yay! DK taking a hit. We got a hot tag, then went to the super kick to the frog splash finisher. One, two, three, still tag team champs, Ray Ray and DK. All right, another hit, another hit. Austin Lane and Nikki did an interview with T Bone. Good promo from both of them. Uh, then we had a quick video with Tim Grind, and K Tim is uh, foreshadowing something they're supposed to do next week. He said it's going to be too cool. Oh man, I'm excited about this. I've I've seen some pictures online. Apparently, we're going to have Posse against Too Cool. Well, I, I'm not even going to say it because I don't know yet. So I'm excited about that main event. Bradley was in the main event with Phil. Against all way, all the way Ray. Let me say that again. All the way Ray. Uh, crowd was hot for Ray Collins. Just hot, simple match. Um, I'm gonna tell you, Bradley is the perfect guy to be feuding with this young guy and trying to help him out with certain things. Just you know, Bradley's almost flawless with the stuff he does. And Ray continues, and let me say that again, all that way. All the way, Ray. I still I can't say that. Ray is on a winning streak, a big, big winning streak. I love what they've done with him. We got a quick clip of Lawler, Jerry Lawler being at Raw and DK watching. Love that. And then the finish of the show, we had K Timmer and Mike Anthony come out, big brawl. They went to the parking lot. Uh, Robert's family legacy driving off into in the truck. And uh, just a crazy brawl, Dyer County Fair uh, is tonight, guys. Dyer County Fair is tonight. And those guys are all from Dyersburg. And let me tell you, that is going to be a wild match. It, they sh they may go all over the fair. You never know. Somebody might get on a Ferris wheel. Uh, if you're in driving distance of Dyersburg, Tennessee, Join, go, go see them at the fair and you get free admission for wrestling. So it, I'm trying, I'm not really trying to do a commercial here. I'm just telling you this is a fun, fun match. Just for that match, it would be fun. All right, guys, hits, hits, hits. That was hits for week 133. Misses, misses for week 133. Well, let me say, feel. That's right. Big Phil has a finger missing. Or let me say, finger. That's the way we say it in the South. He has a finger missing. Dustin and Maria talked about Phil possibly losing it at the Wrestle Center. So let me tell you, if anyone knows where Phil's finger is, please DM me. All right? So that is a miss for week 133. Phil's missing a finger. Finger. All right, we're up to MVP, MVP for week 133. I got to give it to Ray Ray Sanders. As I said, he is fitting in as a tag team guy with DK, filling out, doing all kinds of super cool moves in the ring, and everything is starting to fit. It's almost like he's starting to get it more in what he's what he's going to do. They always go to the same finish, but that's cool too. Ray Ray Sanders is our MVP for week 133. Up to question of the week. Question of the week for week 133. I got a question from 870-HOXY123, and as you can see, right there, phone number, you can call, and I'll play it right here, uh, or you can email me, and I'll read it. Uh, HOXY123, 870-HOXY123 writes, I hear you talk about house shows. I know you're talking about when Memphis Wrestling goes on the road. My question is, 
if I'm a wrestler, what is the difference between a house show match and a TV match? Man, we got some smart fans out there, and and they catch what I'm saying and wonder what's going on, what I'm really talking about. I remember seeing the word house shows during reports because WWE, WCW, and other places were doing TV tapings, very similar to what Memphis does. And when they're not doing a TV taping, then most of the time they're not actually taping the show you know, to put on anything. Now, uh, the world has changed, and a lot of people tape uh, Memphis Wrestling tapes the house shows so that they can use clips on various things, you know, showing that they were there and all kinds of stuff. So it's a little different now, but the house shows was kind of telling you, uh, on the house shows, they might be doing something different, upcoming. It may be, they might be trying out a match on a house show. So, so as a wrestler, what is the difference? Well, one of the main differences is time. So I've been a promoter, I've been a, a wrestler and a manager. And so if the promoter, if I am the promoter and I say, Hey, give me 10 minutes, a TV match, you better give me 10 minutes. That's what I want. I don't want nine. I don't want eight. I want 10 minutes when it comes to a house show as a wrestler. And I say, Hey, go out there and have an opener. You know, give me about 10 minutes. If you go seven, that's fine. If you go a little over, that's, that's okay too. You're also as a house show match, you're listening to the crowd. So you may take 10 minutes and you may get everything you need at a house show in seven minutes done. Remember, on a TV match, it's all about getting the moves in, continuing with the story, and with the time limit. So there, there is a difference. You can take your time a little bit more. Also, with the house show, a little slower pace. In a TV match, it's going to be a little quicker also. Remember, also, with the house shows, you're going to get a little bit more interaction with, with the wrestlers. So that's one of the things, too. You can get a lot more interaction with the wrestlers there. I do know the Wrestle Center is with the TV tapings. You, you're able to see the wrestlers a lot. But that that's traditionally one, one of the things. You would be able to stand outside and get autographs and stuff like that. Great question. Remember, phone number or email. For question of the week, that's question of the week, week 133. What's happening? What's happening? Gun show. Big win. Who is next? I said that who's next, almost like Goldberg. They're almost uh, pushing him like that, where he comes out, does a couple moves, boom, 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 it's over. But who can beat the gun show? That's what's happening. And also that big brawl. What's happening? What's happening? We got the Roberts family legacy against Tumor. Apparently King, Crow King Cobra is going to be there. And Mike Anthony, Dyer County. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Dyer County Fair, week 133. We are Memphis Wrestling. Join us live starting this Saturday night, September 9th, at the Dyer County Fair. 6 p.m. meet and greet, 7 p.m. bell time. Don't miss the Memphis Wrestling Bicentennial Bash at the Dyer County Fair. Memphis Wrestling is free with pay fair admission. Must see. Must see for week 133. I'm going to give you the tag team title match. I'm really a fan of Gaston and Matt Williams. A really solid match with the champions keeping the belts. Fun, fun match. And take a moment to see the very end brawl. The, yeah, all that stuff at the very end with the brawl. Must see, must see for week 133. All right, y'all know what I'm fixing to do. Same bat time, same bat channel. On the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there. And as everyone knows, everybody knows this for now. I love my mama.